This is Puzzled Oysters. Whoa. Welcome back to Pathologic 2. At this point on, I'm on the clock. Uh, right there, 7.33. This game is hard. And time is an extremely limited resource. It's not running right now, at least I don't think so while I'm in here, although that animated light makes me a little nervous. We'll see if the time changes. So... I'll probably be trying to pause to explain things. Last we left off, I got off the train. There was a little flashback, I guess, of me getting off the train. And then these guys lying in wait. Was that 7.32 before or 7.33? I don't remember. I guess when I go back and edit, I'll find out. I'm getting paranoid. <coughs> anyway, these guys lie before me dead now after one tried to pull a knife. I have a water bottle. I should hurry home. It's knives honed. So, I'm gonna... Here we go. Let's take a look at what they have on them. Loot is very important in this game. Once I pick it all up, we'll take a look at what I have. Touch all of the new stuff. Oh yeah, by the way, I think I mentioned this. Yeah, this game's hard. I honestly don't know if I'll succeed. Um, but this game is designed to be interesting even in failure, so I, I kind of want to ride this out, see how I do. I've started this game from the beginning a few times, and I think I had a pretty good idea of how to get through it, but then that's been a while, so I, for I kind of forget like most of what I learned at that time. Okay, so I, I know that time's paused now because it jumped really fast just while I was looting those pockets. Um, okay, scrap name. We looked at that in the last video. Chestnut is new. Truly a town of mysteries. It's the same message as before. Toast. Uh, I'm probably going to eat this just about right away, actually. Stale bread is bad news. So let's watch what happens to my hunger meter. Okay, so that's the way we want it to go. But, oh, it makes my thirst go up, though. But do I want to drink my water? I don't know. Let's look at this pocket watch. The owner most likely died. Victor Kane. I don't remember who he is, but I know he comes up too. He's a figure in the town. Fishing hooks. <coughs> So, this game has its own kind of parallel barter economy. I think people on the the essay forums called it the, the hobo economy. Um, and part of that is, for example, fishing hooks are worth a lot to children. Because children are pretty wild. So, you find something that's worth a lot to children, and they'll give you something that's worth a lot to someone else and then you'll trade it with them, and so on and so forth. Alright, fingernail. We've seen that in the last video. That lets you fast travel. Broken scissors. I'm actually going to cut out the broken scissors description because it mentions something that we'll see in not too long. Oh, hey, who are you? Furry town. Oh, I can see his eyes. Like his actual eye eye holes. The worst is yet to come. Uh first one. Covered in my own blood? 
Hey, I'm a surgeon. Show some respect. Well, I kind of want to say this. I could probably use that tourniquet. Oh yeah, he's teaching you how to play the game here. So let me ask him what he's talking about. Yeah, this is a this is an important part of the game. There are some people who it might be worth killing. We'll run into them later. And speak to some people. He's got something new to say. That mean that's why he lit up when I pushed left control. When the cat's away, the mice will play. Yeah, were they waiting for someone else then? Someone else got murdered tonight. Doesn't sound good. Alright, some new thoughts. Someone important was murdered tonight. Well, that was just a rumor, really. Funny dog-eared kid. What was he doing there? Nothing new. Let's talk to the orderlies. Did I forget to use that tourniquet by the by the way? Oh, his name's Talon. You see, I think that crowd of that I killed just now. That's is a fair question, I think. Yes, yeah, so you start right off this game with some with some troubles, I guess. <clears throat> I think it kind of explains a few things about why uh, your meters run down as fast as they do. Let's ask him for advice. <laughs> yeah, I suppose you did. Oh good, yeah, I could use more bandages. I actually know how to get them. Drugstore. Old town will soon have it in for me. Alright, uh, yeah, let's use that tourniquet. Yeah, exhaustion, hunger, thirst. Actually, no, we want hunger to be. Oh, I forget already. My health just went up a little bit from that tourniquet. Not a whole lot, though. No, uh, that water might be useful still. 
Hey, I see you. Oh, I can talk to him again. guys that stole some meat I can catch up to. I am dead tired. I actually have a map. I don't know. But I'm going to say this anyway. Yeah, that's my map. Oh, and that tells me where I need to go. My father's house. So he mentioned people breaking into. I think a head on the. Was it on the right or the left? Uh, I think it was the right. Palin and Beak. <laughs> uh, whoops. I'm going to go for the second one. My father is. Seems like finding my father once I do will help me out a lot. Yeah, I like how you can just decide your character doesn't like any of this weird stuff going on. Hey, is that his actual eye? Uh, hard to tell. Anyway, that's not really my style so much, so let's go for this one. Runs in the family. Yeah, this message too is very important. Yeah, your friend told me I'm gonna die soon. <laughs> A little more. Twelve or so days, hmm. That number of days sounds familiar. He's a specialist. <laughs> oh, let's do it. Oh, he's not going to matter, so I'll just be nice. Okay. Monkey man. Alright, who only speaks in lies? Stay clear of home. Uh, I want to know more about this one. I do like this one. Uh, 
I feel like that's not uh it's not what I want to choose for this game. So let's say yeah, I'm home. I am home. I mean, I'll keep that in mind, yeah. Does my thirst go back up? Nope, it just goes down as I sprint. Oh, I see. So the maximum... Hmm. My thirst is the maximum stamina, basically. Alright, I forget where he said the... Oh, where he said those guys who were stealing are. Maybe it's them. Alright, I just filled a bottle. Now I'm going to drink some water. There's my thirst. Let me just talk to these guys, although I do need to hurry. Night jar. So they're looking for a Shabnak. Sabrov. Okay. Olgimskis, the Canes, and the Sabrovs. Here the night jar sends his fondest regards. Yeah, honestly, leave her alone. Okay, what's that's the new one. I don't know, that seems a little too much to me. Oh, let's check my people tab. That's my father. Isidor Brock. Let's talk to I can't talk to her. Alright. Let's go where I was going. Oh wait a second. Gotta check the bins. If there's time. No one over there. Can't check these boxes. I just gotta hurry, 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 because that's that's what you need to do in this game. Is that? Nope. Oh, this will show me, yeah, quest objectives. I think other things too. I see him sparkling over there. But those are the three. Um, they mentioned stole food from the warehouse. So maybe they'll share or something. Not worth talking to the others, just him. Katonger. And I'm Tonger. Lots of local culture stuff. Let's uh, interrogate this.
Every day celebrates meat. I see that. Katanga, Katanga. I approve of that. Barrel water is the best. Oh, it's not going to just give it to me, huh? Let's see. Well, here's trading. We kind of tried that earlier. Pocket, pocket watch is worth a lot. So I could get two of those for a pocket watch. Uh, let's do it. Yeah, I've only got 22 uh, town bucks. Oh, it tells me where to drink that water. So this is the Gorkhan right here. And while we're on this map, why don't I... Uh, I don't remember if this game introduces this concept, but the first one does. Basically, the town is kind of like a bull, the town map. Some parts are named like the flank, the hindquarters, the gut. Uh, it's something mentioned very early in the first pathologic. I don't remember if, this, if that comes up in this. So we can see here the stores. Generally, you don't go to stores unless you need to. Bartering is better, from what I remember. Station. This part is for humans. Oh, I see. This part is for cargo. The abattoir. Can I scroll at all? Nope. Okay, I saw Nina's tomb. Victoria's tomb. So it seems what, there's ghosts? And that's all there is at the moment on this map. So this is like a, I don't know, side quest marker you want to call it? Point of interest? I'm gonna go there. There's a someone standing there that was like glowing too. When I say glowing, I mean like that. Good. Empty bottles. Thought there was a. Oh, the pump is over there. Okay. Let me talk. I think, actually, I think they're all the same. Carousers. Great a poet. Well, I already know about the river, but he is next to a pub. Another sort of liquid flying, a fiery one. <laughs> You'll make it, I believe in you. <laughs> Alright, I just gotta say that. Uh huh. Oh right, so yeah, part of the part of this town is like the plants are talking about twirling, like it gets in the air and it affects 
things. I think that's one reason, like, things like your hunger and exhaustion go down so quickly, or up. The air is heady here in September. Stroke seems closer than the river. Well, they're all, they'll all have the same effect. I can trade with them now. So, yep, bandages. This is how you get bandages. Oh. They're only worth, so I'd have to trade four of these for a bandage? That's how it works, huh? Alright, well, let me grab. Actually, that's not a bad trade at the moment. That's the best way to get bandages in this game. Oops. Okay, I just want to fill all of my bottles. Oops. Two, three, four. Accept. I think you can do uneven trades, but it'll lower your reputation. I don't remember how that works. I don't really want to try either. Alright. Oh yeah, this map is very detailed about where you can and can't go, which is nice. Like, I don't know if the resolution's high enough, but like, this path right here, that little gap means you can go there. Whoops. Oh, I can make my own markers. So I'll just run past here left, and then I'll go straight a while and right. Not gonna remember that too well. No one cares about me in the hindquarters. Lucky me. Let's talk to this guy. I can ask him to repair my stuff. I got nothing in need of repair because I don't really have anything. Let's see what he has to trade. Pemmican. Only slightly revolting. Oh, that's worth a charm. Hazelnuts. Those are might be worth having. It's never a bad idea to just stock up on food, in my opinion. Speaking of food, why don't I eat it right now? Let's start with this because it takes up more space. Alright, now we'll talk. Yeah, they reuse um, character models in this for the non-important characters. It's like an intentional thing, too. They're all like a certain type of person. I believe these guys are like step people. Or maybe they're not step people. I don't know. I don't remember. And th Yeah, in this game, in this world, there's like the step people, which is more... I guess the indigenous, sort of? And then there's like the non-step people, I guess like the townspeople who came along, I guess, and settled later. Yeah, that's why the Gorkin's so bad. I don't remember seeing it turn anyone into livestock, but let's say it anyway. Even blood would be better. What about the water bearers? They were mentioned earlier. Vlad the Younger. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, digging digging in this town is, um, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't be mentioning this stuff right now. Well, it's too late. Digging is, like, frowned upon. It's, like, taboo here. We'll see that again soon enough. I doubt anyone would be so reckless as to dig a hole in the ground. That, everyone would hate you. Okay, these people don't want to talk. This is, like, a soldiery guy. Immunity boosters. Those are good for stocking up on. Oh, hey, I haven't touched, uh, have I touched this yet? I guess I did in the last video, but not the pemmican.
anyone I might want to trade with. He has springs and peanuts. I don't know if I want to trade my matches for peanuts. It might be worth it. I'll think about it. Candle stubs. Yeah, not going to trade with him either. So clothing store. Let's take a drink. It's good to do that while you're able. Trash can. An empty bottle. Yeah, I got a spring now. Let's touch the rusty spring. Oh, ouch. Kind of true for more than just the game world. What about that weird looking guy? Oh, wait, what's this? Nothing I can look at. Hey, you. Not you, you. I can't talk to him. Okay. He doesn't want any of what I have. I think my father's house is just down this way. I wonder if that's where this guy's going. Let's get a look at his face. Hey! Uh, wow. You look strange. I think we'll learn more about those guys later. Um. Well. My father is popular in this town, they said, right? They've all got something to say. Ah, let's loot the dumpster. Okay. And so it was ordered. Saburov, the governor. I missed him by hours. Um, I got here as fast as I could. Where is he? Uh, Got a sudden sinking feeling here. So that's who was killed tonight. Now I can't actually talk to her again. Let's look at my new thoughts. Where do I go now? Saburov is in charge of the investigation. Father's dead. I was too late. I wonder if he ever faced that difficult trial. It's on the map now. Katagokers, they might know what happened. Well, let's... Oh, what's this? Oh, I see. I just pressed the, the L key that showed up. So I updated that. Shabnock again. Well, I already know about that, so let's ask why it... Oh, they'll probably say because he was so loved by the town. I want to know more about her thoughts on this. <laughs> Obviously they do now. So Vlad 
Olgimsky owns the factory, the abattoir, and the railroad. I think... yeah. I do want to ask that, but if I can only ask one, I figure I can learn about my father's body. This is coming up right now. My father's body was taken by Saborov's men. I have three friends in town. Yeah, I don't think I want to go to Saborov right now. See, I, I kind of remember that I knew, I knew from before, like whether I want to go to Sabrov or not, right away, or if I want to wait, and I forget all that. Okay, I can't talk to any more of them. Lara Ra Ravel. She was mentioned in one of the item descriptions. I forget which one, but that was in the last video. Reuben. Bad grief. Let's take a look at the map. Reuben is the closest. So I'm going to start with him. Uh, and I need to set a marker because that's already a marker. Anything else? Okay, I want to talk to that boy. Yep, door is locked. I can't even try to open it. A long neck and a fat body. And who is for feet? So it's an albino, and people say it wasn't the earth that made it. Uh, who are you? Yeah, I'm old Barack's son. Yeah, let's be a shit to the to the kid here. I think I'm the one who should watch my tongue. Yeah, he gets on my nerves. They must be why they put him there, right? And with that, I'm going to end this here. Actually, this is a good place to stop. So I'll see you next time as we will continue to move on and meet my friends. Thanks for watching.